This week, we're all over the quarter racing map with full coverage of the Bank of America Emerald Downs Championship Challenge, plus two-year-olds and older horses in Indiana Grand, and the AQHA Distance Challenge from Evergreen Park. Welcome to the weekend wrap up. This week from Emerald Downs in Auburn, Washington, just outside Seattle, I'm Jim Byers. Emerald Downs has been hosting a spring summer thoroughbred meet since 1996, and they also mix in some quarter horse racing. And that's what we're here for the Bank of America Emerald Downs Championship Challenge, featuring Mr. PYCTU. Last year's Champion of Champions winner makes his 2018 debut in that final qualifier in the championship division for the Bank of America Challenge Championship. Let's get on to the action though. We'll have full coverage of that race coming up. But first, let's start with two-year-olds. In the Quarter Horse Racing Association of Indiana, Stallion Service Futurity at Indiana Grand. 350 yards on Saturday for a purse of 169 plus. Troubled starts for the two WRS Valentino. And number three, Pretty. That's the three to 10 favorite. And they're off. Pretty and a little tight at the start. Coronado's Quicksilver sends out for the lead. Pretty now getting on track and is challenging for the lead. Further out is Nacho Binez, and then it's Daddy's Mo and First Habits. They come down to the finish. It's Pretty, Pretty, as well as Valentino. On the inside, WRS Valentino is up by a nose over Pretty with First Habits third. Second in his trial, but with the sixth fastest overall time. WRS Valentino is a Kentucky bred, mighty B valiant gelding, bred and owned by Williams Racing Stables. Randy Smith trains, and Omar Reyes, the winning jockey. WRS Valentino wins for the second time in three tries and goes the distance in 17.84 seconds. Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association encourages the breeding and ownership of Oklahoma bred horses, promotes and protects racing opportunities in the state, and represents our members' interest at the state capitol. Learn more at OQHRA.com. Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by American Quarter Horse Association and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Evergreen Park in northern Alberta wrapped up its 2018 season on Sunday and included was the AQHA Evergreen Distance Challenge. The top two finishers qualify for the Grade 1 Final in this division, November 17th at Los Alamitos. Track record holder KR Streak Inversion was favored, but this one belonged to Glittering Blue. Up front with the lead now it is Glittering Blue cruising along nicely on the inside. ER Cafe. Lucky Royal Rabbit on the outside has a challenge, has a shot going on here as well, and around the final turn and down the stretch is Glittering Blue. Continuing to roll along down the stretch, but coming from off the pace on the inside is KR Street Conversion. On the outside, ER Cafe, it is Glittering Blue in a photo. Jockey Stuart Blanford and the 10-year-old Glittering Blue get the lead early and run away from this field in 45.75 seconds for 870 yards. ER Cafe on the outside was up for second over challenge veteran KR Street Conversion. Now a 19-time winner from 58 starts. The Alberta bred Glittering Blue is a gelding by Jess Louisiana Blue, bred by Rigetti Farms, owned by Cody Eagle Bear, and trained by Alvin Cross Child. As we mentioned at the top, Emerald Downs opened in 1996 to fill the void left by the closing of Long Acres here in the Seattle area. Its spring and summer meeting annually features at least one major quarter horse race, and that's the Bank of America Championship Challenge, won back in 2015 by B.H. Lisa's boy. This year's race had some star power of its own. The biggest is Mr. PYC to you. The five-year-old stallion sprung an upset in last year's Champion of Champions over stable made in 2015 AQHA world champion. He's a dash of fire. After knocking heads with the sport's best older horses in recent years, Mr. PYC to you was bred to some mares this spring before going back in training for Jose Flores and Denise and Ron Van Amber. Carlos Huerta made the trip from California to ride. They're six to five. 
68 to 5 second choice is the Alberta bred Pouton on the Wagon. Multiple graded winner in Canada, this four year old is 10 for 12 lifetime. He took an allowance over the Emerald Surface August 5th in his first try in the States. S1 Flores up. From the Mark Hansen stable is the intriguing three year old Cool Odds. Dismissed at 15 to 1 here. This California bred has fared well at smaller Northwest tracks and gets by far the biggest test here. Gila Black rides. 7 to 1 third choice Tickle Your Fancy is a win machine with six victories in her last seven outs and 14 and 23 career tries. She's one of four in here from the Hector Magallane stake. Regular rider Eduardo Gutierrez Sosa with the call, and he does a remarkable job holding on as she breaks through the gate prematurely. Tickle Your Fancy was taken back and reloaded. Runners away. Good start for Cool Odds on the outside. Ranging up comes El Bardi, Genuine Red, racing on at the inside. And Pouton on the wagon is right there. Middle of the racetrack, charging up, Corona be gone. Full run late now, the race to the finish, and Corona be gone takes the challenge. There was a trio of three-year-olds in here, and they ran one, two, three. Corona Be Gone runs his best race to date and prevails decisively over cool odds with the 10 favorite Bling Third. Bred by Michael and Sharon McKay, Corona Be Gone is an Oregon bred son of favorite cartel and the graded winning mare Go Girl Gone. Corona Be Gone ran third behind Pouton on the wagon in a prep for this at Emerald. His trainer, Hector Magallanes, said this was the day he put it all together. This colt showed a lot of promise from, from day one, really, you know, just in training. But uh, he was just not quite putting it together away from the gate. He caused a lot of problems for himself, you know, trying to rare, you know, little things like that. But um, today, uh, it, was, it, was a good, it was a good day. He put it together really well, and I think it's just perfect timing for him. Owned by the trainer's father, Ruben Magallanes, Corona Be Gone was ridden by Lorenzo Lopez, who was familiar with the gelding from previous engagements at Portland Meadows. Top two here get into the Grade 1 Bank of America Challenge Championship in November. The winner's time, 22.329 seconds. On Friday in Indiana Grand, a tremendous finish in the $87,200 Bob Woodard Memorial Classic for Hoosier bred older horses. Off to a great start, Stinkin' Rich is one of the greys, also sitting out for the lead. Outside to fantastic six-pack and designed by Dash, closing in on the far outside, Stinkin' Rich, Kenny G. Outside, designed by Dash, Akari at the fence, here's the finish, Kenny G. And outside, designed by Dash. On the outside, WH, designed by Dash, is up by a whisker, despite breaking 10th in the field. WH, Kenny G, finished his second, a neck better than Sicario on the inner rail. Now the third all-time leading earner among Indiana breads, WH designed by Dash has banked more than $423,000 in a career spanning 13 wins in 40 races. Bred by Greg Morrison, the winner is a seven-year-old gelding by Brimstone, owned by Julia Martin and trained by Paul Martin, Rodney Prescott, the winning jockey. The time for 400 yards, 20.065 seconds. You're not just my horse, you're my family. I may hold the reins, but you hold my heart. Raceview Network's Weekend Wrap-Up is sponsored by American Quarter Horse Association and by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Coming up next week, we'll have the TQHA Sires Cup Futurity, the All-American races from Ruidoso Downs, and the Grade 1 Go Man Go Handicap from Los Alamitos. I'm Jim Byers from here at Emerald Downs outside Seattle. Thanks for looking in, and we hope you catch us next time here on the Weekend Wrap-Up.